Hi. Uh, so in this session, we can discuss about what is volatile and you know, what is the advantage of using the volatile keyword in Java. Okay. Uh, this is um, asking some of the interview questions. Okay. Uh, so what is volatile? Like let's say like I have a variable. Okay. It can be static or non-static. Okay. So when multiple thread is going to access that variable, okay, each thread will be having its own copy, okay, and that's the change made by one of the thread is not visible to the other thread, okay. So that create an issue of consistency, okay, of that variable. Okay. So to avoid that, what we can do, we can make it as a um, volatile. So what will happen instead of you no. Know, each one having its own copy okay the value will always be available in the main memory and if the thread want to you know get a value want to edit a value like it need to go to the main memory and edit it okay so that is the advantage of having using the volatile like it maintains a single copy okay so here is the advantage right? uh, volatile is used to modify the value of a variable by different threads okay if you want multiple thread to change the value then you can make it volatile okay always read a variable from the main memory okay and this is the syntax of using the volatile okay so it, it is a way of you know making your variable a thread set normally we use synchronize uh, key um, to make any method or block as uh, um, thread set okay and what the synchronize will do is like it blocks the thread from accessing your method or blocks right but at a variable level, like it never blocks it, like it maintains its one copy and uh, other threads to come and you know change at the main memory level. So that's the difference between the synchronized and volatile. Hope you all can understand.